All right, hey guys, She Detector here. So today's video is going to be about metal detecting and only metal detecting. So I'm gonna get geared up and we'll get to doing some metal detecting. All right guys, so I've got a target here that is probably a bottle cap, but I'm gonna dig it anyways, mostly because I had some mods done to my Excalibur. Uh, yeah, it's one of these little condiment covers. Um, so I had some mods done to my ringer here, my Excalibur 2, and one of them was a new headphone setup. So I'll show that to you guys a little bit later. But the second one was a pinpoint switch. Well, not so much a pinpoint switch, but um, a switch that lets me toggle between pinpoint mode and all metal mode. So when I come across a target, I hit this little button here and it'll switch between all metal and pinpoint. <clears throat> this way I don't have to come and twist my knobs to see what my target is each time. Ah, foil. Boo. So, yeah, so I'm still getting used to it. Um, it's pretty convenient though. Like I said, you don't have to keep switching the knobs. Well, guys, so I've got a sharp um, staccato type sound here. It's very whoop, 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 whoop. Ah, boo. Yep, foil. I've been foiled again. So it's been months since I've hunted with Ringer. So <laughs> I'm digging all garbage right now. That's all right. Got to start somewhere, right? Penny, guys. Very nice. Ah, it looked like a penny. <laughs> it's not. But there is something there. Hmm. No. Found a little earring, guys. Hmm. Find something? An earring! Yeah? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Big one? Hmm. Yep. It might be like stainless steel or aluminum. <laughs> so, huh. yeah, it's something. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. 
might be something else. Check it out. Very nice. I bet. Ah, boo. guys so here are my finds for my hunt today with ringer my excalibur 2 so i found a bunch of pull tabs some random iron bobby pins hair clip whoop foil safety or a foil and a paper clip and a bunch of these little bread ties a couple of bottle caps this we think is the like the opening part of a carabiner so, I don't know, hopefully someone wasn't using it to hang up a hammock or something because obviously they ended up on the ground. I'm pretty sure this is a fishing weight, perhaps. I'm not positive. I found a couple of massive tent stakes. I found this little police car. It's a Hot Wheels. And then these are my non-metal um, items. I just eyeballed these. This is says bright start, so some kind of... I don't know, thing for a baby. Rubber band, I don't know what that is. This is, what was it again? Badminton. Badminton, a badminton thing. And then these are like my best finds. So I found three pennies, 
this tiny little pendant. So hopefully you guys can see that. It looks like a tree and then it's got like little stones all around it. There's no marking on it, so I'm pretty sure it's not gold. And I'm pretty sure these stones aren't real, but I'll definitely test them with my diamond tester just to make sure. And then I found this little junker earring. Um, it's, I'm pretty sure it's not silver. It might have been like plated silver, the hook anyways. And then I'm pretty sure this here is maybe like plastic or something. So yeah, so these are all my finds for my hunt today with Ringer. All right guys, so last thing for today's video, I wanna show you guys the new mods that I got for my Excalibur 2. So Tony Eisenhower replaced my stock headphones with these headphones. So obviously the biggest difference is, well, they're just a whole lot better. <laughs> Um, they're more comfortable than the stock yellow ones that came with it. They're definitely louder, so that's good. Um, especially if you tend to have like hearing troubles or anything, these are significantly louder than the yellow ones. So this is my first time using them and I enjoyed them so far. I was hunting for maybe like an hour and a half and I definitely enjoyed using them. Um, I like that they're smaller. They fit me better than the stock yellow ones. Um, you know, my head is, I don't know, I guess smaller than your average male's head, so these fit a lot better. The other ones tended to like sag down on my head, but these were much better. And then this here is the switch that allows me to go between disc and pinpoint mode. So you just hit it like that, and then you hit it again to go back and forth, and it's all sealed up. So I can take it underwater, that's not a problem. And all you have to do, and there's a sticker on here that says must stay in PP, so must stay in pinpoint. So you have to stay in pinpoint in order for it to work properly. But like I said, instead of having to come up here and switch your knob, I can just hit the switch here on my handle and it immediately jumps between one and the other. So that's nice. So check out this bumper sticker that we made for heat detectors truck. So it's in like a blue kind of holographic vinyl. It just says she detector on it. So there was a person who recognized, well, the sticker on my husband's truck and they pulled up to him and they were like, hey, she detector. And then they saw it was he detector. And they were like, oh, hey, he detector. And he was like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> so shout out to whoever you were. Hopefully you saw this video. So that's it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, it's my first time out pretty much since like January of this year. Um, I had a good time, it was nice, it got super hot. Um, I didn't find as many targets as I was hoping to find, but I still had a really good time. First time taking Ringer out, I think for this year, for 2020. So yeah, it was overall a good time. So if you liked today's video, go ahead and hit it with a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Now I just need to remember what good targets and bad targets sound like. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because I always dug everything regardless of what it sounded like. <laughs> Is that upside down?